trade us from across the globe and welcome to the 1623rd edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. Good evening, traders. Did you miss me? Well, stop throwing tomatoes. Well, I missed you guys. I don't care if you didn't miss me. I was running my Omni Camp. I had people here from around the globe, across the globe, and I was teaching them Oscar's Market Navigational Indicator. I was teaching them the Omni, so I had to give them undivided attention, so I did not give you too many videos. But guess what? We're back. Rock and roll. And here we go. There is a lot of stuff if you will, technical term there, a lot of stuff on the board behind me. This video is coming at you for trading on Friday, which is the day before Memorial Day, a three-day holiday weekend, and you've got me giving you trade wrecks. Imagine that. That is for trading May 26, 2017, a Friday. So you should know that futures trading is extremely risky, causes substantial financial loss to lots of us, is not, not, not suitable for all traders, and you must have risk capital to lose if you are to play this game. So, I tell you, never trade alone. Come to my live trading room. It's free, livewithoscar.com. No credit cards required. Just come on down. And I tell you, always place stops and place them first. So there are rumors that stops don't always work in illiquid markets, and that's probably true, but we don't trade illiquid markets, nor should you. Try to stick to the full volume markets, the thickly traded markets, so stops should help you out all the time. Nothing's 100%, but they're pretty darn good in the thick markets. So now that we've got risk disclosure out of the way, let's get moving. Indices to the moon, Alice. Rock and roll. Clap for that one. E-mini NASDAQ Green Omni, just like Ralph Crandon would say, to the moon, Alice. I love it. They're just going straight up. It's like bang, zoom, once again, Trump rally, whatever you want to call it. We look for more on Friday, which is odd because usually during this week, you'd hear from me about the holiday reversal expectations. But if you've been in my live trading room where I tell you not to trade alone, you would have found that Omni and my, my opinion has been since Monday the week, that the week began, a few days back. I have told everyone we are not going to get a reversal. It is not coming. The charts do not show a holiday reversal. They show straight up for the week, and that's the way we have been trading it. And Omni's been blessing us with call after call, right? Rock and roll, Omni. Soybeans, big bear flag. It went down. Omni had that. It's looking to get short again tonight. So we've got some great stuff. In fact, beans, as I mentioned it, beans are about to nail the flag projection that I've been showing you in video after video. Then, of course, there's number two, the Omni crude call. Omni has been calling for 37 for the price of crude oil since we traded above 52. So it jumped up, it went from 52 somewhere to about 54, and Omni called for 37 at that point. It's been a couple of weeks. Now the crude's starting to get down there, but just so that you know, if you do come to my room, Oscar's Market Navigational Indicator has been pointing down for crude for weeks now, even though day trading it's been pointing a little higher. So 37 is our target for crude oil, and I'm going to show you some charts that'll make you that should convince you that 37 is something we can we can get to. Then there's B I I B Biogen. Now, how crazy is this? Omni says indices to the moon and has been telling you that for days and days and days on end now, right? It's been giving us green Omni after green Omni. At the same time, it's got to be, I don't know, 8, 10 days ago, Omni said BIIB, go short, stay short. It's a broken stock, remember? I said Omni says it's broken. I don't know why I'm not going to argue, but Omni says broken stock. And while the entire stock market practically is going to the moon, BIIB has been going down. How about that for an Omni call? And I'll show you charts on that. Omni Campers, that was a fantastic, fantastic Omni Camp. I felt the magic. I hope you did as well. It looked like you did. You know, when the light bulb goes off over your heads, that's my favorite part. When I see that happen, when that Edison light bulb just, I love it when I see that you guys get this and you recognize that this is, a, it's possible and that you can do it. So another round of applause to you Omni Campers who were just here. That was a great week. Contact me tomorrow's Friday. Allow me to send you the 
email that will help you continue to practice the Omni style. Traders, with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Okay, traders, the first chart this evening, the NASDAQ daily bar. Does this look familiar to you? Do you remember I put this before your eyes and said, chart masterpiece, this average is batting 1,000% for all of 2017? We were right there at the average that night that I showed this to you and I said, this has to be a buy. Look what's happened to the NASDAQ since. Fantastic, right? So we can consider this average continuing to work at the 1,000% batting average. I love it. Let's move forward. Looking at the NASDAQ once again, that's about as strong as you're going to get. That's the same chart. I've just condensed it a little. Changed nothing on that chart at all except for now I put a parallel channel on it. Same chart. Is that not strong as bull? I mean, who could look at that chart and not consider that a very strong looking chart? I know I do. I'll bet you everyone else does. Gotta love that NASDAQ. Then we go out to the E-mini S&P, and now we're going to go out to a weekly. Traders, this is all the way back to 2011. In fact, this, of course, this goes much further down, but what I can fit on one page is back to about 2011. And you can see this has been a decent channel, but look at the way now it's starting to get into an upswing here. The channels are getting steeper, but they're not too, too steep. This is a weekly, and this is a bull flag, and it broke out of it, and I don't know what that is, but it looks pretty good. So this whole thing right here looks like it should just continue while it stays inside of the parallel channel, working its way up inside of that. So you have to love the weekly there in the E-mini S&P. Now you've got the Dow Jones Industrial Average, another weekly. Look at how strong this has been. That, my friends, is a bull flag, which we're going to blow up in just a second. I want you to see weekly bar, fantastic look on the Dow Jones, bull flag. Now let's blow that bull flag up. That's the same thing. Look at the size of it. That's real. Now let's step this back. Look at that bull flag. Let me look over it here. I got some thin lines. Let me darken them in. Bull flag, breakout, bull flag, breakout, bull flag, breakout, bull flag. Why not, right? Breakout. That's what you should get. So that looks fantastic. Why do we have this many flags in concession? Lately, flags have been all over the charts this whole quarter, but that's the way it works. So what? If there are going to be flags, let it be. This is a weekly, so there's flags all over the place, but on the dailies, the whole quarter's been a bunch of flags. Maybe next quarter it'll be head and shoulders, maybe something different, who knows? For now, the flavor of the market tends to be flags, and we will follow them. Now, do all flags work in weekly charts? Absolutely not. Here's a bull flag that didn't work. It went down to a bear flag that didn't work. It went up. So no, they won't always work, but this looks pretty good right now. Let's watch that continue. Let's move forward. Transportation average weekly bar. Now, many people are saying, oh, no, the transportation average, see how long it's been going down? Well, you know what? These are the previous highs. It's been going down on this weekly, but in the form of what? A bull flag. That's what I think that is. That looks like a bull flag. This is not a scary perspective to look at. The transportation average deemed the leader of U.S. indices. That's the same exact chart. All I did was zoom in and snap an average on it. Same chart, same flag with an average. Now look at this average. When Once it gets on it, it stays that way. Boom. Then it tries to get above for a little while and succeeds, and it stays that way. You see it? And here we are now, just about hitting it, and it should stay that way. Nice pattern. Gotta love that chart. So, indices to the moon, what else could you say when you look at these charts? Then we look at the Russell, the Russell 2000 on the weekly. What is wrong with that? These were the previous highs. Look at that chart. So there isn't a weekly or daily chart I can find in U.S. indices that would scare me, even the Russell, excuse me, even the European markets like the DAX looks completely fantastic on charts. So let's just move forward now. Let's go off to some commodities and some other markets. Your goal, what is that? Well, I'm assuming we have to call this some sort of a weird flag, right? Wouldn't you? You've got the pole leaning all the way down to here. You've got that flag. The 50 ball moving average and the 200 ball moving average are beneath the market right now. 
I think you have to call that bullish, and we are calling it bullish for Friday. Then, let's keep moving. There's a few more markets. Look at the crude oil, and here comes that call. So, crude oil, big broken market if you ask me. That has also put in a head and shoulders copying pattern. So, bravo for the pattern, because it looks like it is what we expect it to be. And then, so if that's the left shoulder, and this is the head, and that's the right shoulder, and we should project lower, my projections, and not just based on the head and shoulders, by the way, because my projection was put out while we were up here before I even knew we had the full head and shoulders. So I am telling you that we expect 37. Now, 37 is all the way down here at this dotted line. Now, wouldn't I be insane to expect the market to go from here all the way to there. Doesn't that sound like a call from a crazy person? Like this is almost a prediction and not a projection? Two things. First, I also went on television live, international television, and called crude oil from 103 to go to 45, and you know where it went? From 103 to 45. So that did actually happen, and that was about two years ago. Now I have been calling crude when it got up here to get down to 37. This is how far it would need to go on a daily, and you know what, that looks like a crazy person would make that call. But let's just show you how not crazy I actually am here. I'm not all that crazy, I'm slightly sane, watch. I'm only asking for this to go to here on a weekly chart. We are here. I'm asking it to go here, it's not that much to ask for on the weekly chart. I'm not all that crazy. Crude is going to trade 37. That is the next target. Will it go up a little first? Possibly. Will it go to 57 before 37? I don't think so. I think before you see 57, you will see 37. At least that's what the Omni thinks. So, I agree with the Omni at all times. That's your crude oil. I am not coming to you and calling the downside now that it cracked on Thursday. We have been calling the downside since the price of 52 to 54. Let's move along. Textbook fair flag soybeans. I have said the hunt is on. It's been in my Omni just about every day. It's been in almost every video for two weeks. And I showed you this flag and said it projects down to 933. Here's the soybeans. And here is what happened. Look at that so far. How insane is that? And we should probably see 933 on Friday because we're almost there now. And finally, we move out to a stock. Traders, B-I-I-B. -I -I the entire stock market, the, the chart looks like this. It's just going gangbusters up, right? And almost any stock you buy right now has a bar that looks like this for the day. Well, look at this insanity. Omni gives us a sell signal somewhere right in here. And we have dropped ever since. I mean, how insane is that? In the form of an Oscarism known as an F flag, we have been drifting lower and lower, and it looks to me like that will continue. Now that is one powerful Omni, if you ask me, traders. So traders, you've seen the charts. Now you've got my technical reasoning why we expect the indices to continue to go to the moon. Crude, 37. It's not all that far away, even though it looks it on the daily. Beans about to reach their projection, and BIIB still dropping. The flags, of course, Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day here in the United States. Hey, veterans. Hey, veterans, no joke. Thank you so much for your service, because wimps like me get to stay here while you guys go out and fight for us. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for letting me stay here and do my job while you guys go out and do yours. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a fantastic Veterans Day. Memorial Day. Might as well be Veterans Day. Have a fantastic Memorial Day. Omniax, you as well. Fantastic Memorial Day. I will see you all, I guess, Monday night, right? We're closed on Monday. Sunday's a half a session. Monday night into Tuesday is when we'll see each other again. Traders, remember, keep your powder dry. Friday's a full session like anything else. I don't expect anything crazy to happen. Markets should just work in the same suit that they've been working in all week. But it is going to be slightly thinner, so be careful out there. Don't trade large on Friday. Just if you're going to get in, get in, get out, and go to the bleachers. All right, traders, I hope you enjoy your day off. I will see you all at livewithoscar.com. Don't forget, 
Keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do, in my opinion, to keep those emotions at bay is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening. And you know what that is. Stop so Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.